Welcome, everybody, to this informative, we hope it's an informative uh, webinar uh, for our new membership programs and kind of just a tune-up on what we're doing and who we are and so forth. I am Carl Polichuk, and I'm the founder of the uh, Small Biz Thoughts Technology Community, and I'm joined by our community manager, Kara. Yay! Hello! Happy to be here. So, Kara lives on the other side of the country, but uh, does an amazing job as our community manager. So those of you who attend our weekly meetings, uh, you will meet here in somewhat in person. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, and actually, Kara and Jen were able to come to ChannelCon last year. So some of you met her there. That's right. That was a good time. It was really fun to see people in person. You know, you get to find out how tall people are. <laughs> well, they have to lean down to see to put their head through the poster through this. That's right. That's right. Very cool. Uh, all right. Well, let's go ahead and jump in. So we have two separate entities, and I know that this causes some. Uh, I don't know if, if it causes frustration, but it causes some confusion for for some folks. So the Small Biz Thoughts Technology Community is an entity that I own and that Kara uh, mostly runs, <laughs> and. <laughs> It is designed to provide all of the resources and information that I think you need to have to run uh, a successful IT consulting business. So that means books, white papers, checklists, all that kind of stuff. And then IT Service Provider University is the training arm that we created to provide a series of five week classes. So if we only do a one hour class or a one hour training, it's not gonna be at ITSPU, it's gonna be over inside the community. The community uh, is designed to have all the other stuff besides the five week classes, but we made a promise to members that you get access to everything. So that means the community plus members get full access over at ITSPU. Um, so with that, let me dig into each of these a little bit. Uh, Kara, do you want to tell us about the community? Uh, sure. So it was created exactly like Carl just mentioned to be a holding place for all, all of Carl's resources and trainings. Uh, if you have known or followed Carl for any length of time, you know that he had built and sold, um, I think it was two wildly successful managed services businesses uh, in Sacramento, California. And so all of the resources in there are actually proven to help you run your business. Um, all of those are going to be in the resource library, um, which is a filterable, searchable resource. And it also includes the trainings as well. Uh, like Carl mentioned, anything that's not a five-week class. So it might be a webinar, it might be a series, just a short series. We have uh, quite a few three-part classes on sales, getting new clients, setting up your email newsletter, on a, just on a range of topics. So all of those will be found in there. And then also one of the things that is the most fun is the community aspect. So every Thursday we get together. Um, on paper, it's supposed to be an hour, but in practice, we sometimes go for over two. Uh, it just depends. And it's a place where you can find some camaraderie and uh, networking. If you are a manager or the owner of your business, you know that even if you're surrounded by people, that it can be a very lonely place. And so this is somewhere where, you know, you can vent or get advice um, from people who want to see you succeed. So uh, if you are a member currently and you haven't joined us on Thursday, please do. Um, and if you are not yet a member, that's something to look forward to. Exactly. Very good, thank you. So over at ITSPU, we have all the classes as we mentioned, and you know we, we worked really hard to make sure that these are 100% focused on small business and uh, IT consulting, uh, you know, just IT service providers, obviously. So we started with one class and it's now over 10 years ago. We started with one class in December of 2013. So, so we get to claim <laughs> we're 10 years old. Um, but then Reed did that class because it was so popular in 2014 and then added another class and another class. And we now have 25 classes and we're adding a new class next year, next month. So 
you know, we're continuing to evolve as the industry evolves. And, you know, some people say, well, is the on-demand class, is it fresh? And I will tell you, especially with those taught by Lori Hartke and Rayanne Buccianico, James Kernan, they are literally redone every time they do it. I, I, I sometimes think, okay, it's time to rest on your laurels. And then Rayanne redoes like 30 handouts for a class on managing the finances of an MSP. And she does this year after year. So when you look at it, you know, hey, these examples are from, you know, the last six months or something. And so you know that it's good, fresh content. We also have certifications. And the certification simply says you have consumed this data and you've, you've acknowledged, you've demonstrated that you actually have internalized it, right? It's not just you set it, you set up the recording and it was on in the background. Um, so to hone your skills, we have those certifications. We have a simple certification per class, which is gets you the certified um, special or certified uh, by ITSPU. And then we have a pathway where if you do five certifications within a specific pathway, such as technician, uh, you would become a certified specialist in that pathway. And we've had a few people dig in and take uh, a bunch of them. So one in particular, uh, James Turner was our member of the year just because he <laughs> dug in and took so many classes and so many certifications. So I'm not going to go through all these, but this is a list of the classes that we have. And I have one little asterisk. I say all five uh, unit classes, except the foundation class, which is only required if you're going to do certifications, is a one hour class. That one is free. Everybody should just take it. It's sort of a, a basic introduction to the managed service business model. And so uh, what we do with these classes is we try to have a format that is extremely useful and extremely educational and friendly. So it's five one hour classes and we, we promise, you know, 50 to 55 minutes and frequently go over. There is always homework, which is not required obviously, but it's intended to be something useful that is literally like, okay, fill out this form and begin defining what your sales program is gonna be for next quarter. It's that kind of thing where it's truly useful. And if you do it, you'll get feedback from the instructor and it'll be something that we think is good for your business. So we're very hands-on and focused on making actual changes in your business. And of course, each class has quizzes at the end to you know, sort of verify that you consumed the data and then internalized it. Um, and then certifications. So uh, anything else to add to that? I would, you know, with the certifications part, sometimes we have people questioning, you know, what is the significance of getting a certification? And I think there's a couple really good things to consider if you're thinking about getting a specialist certification yourself. Um, and the first is just continuing education. As business owners or people who are in uh, various levels of an organization, continuing education is extremely important to make sure that we're uh, sort of staying either on par with average or even ahead of average in terms of what other business owners are doing and making sure that you are are following um, the best practices of what is current. But the other thing is that I, I think is especially important is if you think of it from your customer's perspective, they have so many options when it comes to finding someone to care for their business, for their IT needs, uh, you name it. And if they're looking at two different businesses online and they're comparing your websites, honestly, they're probably pretty similar. They probably have, you know, they both have a promise that you're going to do the best job, that you have the best technicians, that you have the best um, technology, that you have the best partners. You know, you kind of say the same thing. But if you are someone who has a specialist certification like this, you're actively demonstrating to your potential clients and to your current clients um, that you are committed to not only improving and maintaining your skill set, but then you also get to use these newly acquired skills to help their business be successful as well. So certifications like this can really set you apart from the competition. When you do earn a certification at ITSBU, you get access to a badge that you've earned. 
You can put those in your website footer. You can put them on your business cards. You can put them on any handouts, flyers. Um, you know, we have different use cases that we offer at ITSPU for different ideas, uh, as well as printable certification. So if you have a, a physical business office space where uh, clients or potential clients come in, you can have these hanging on the wall. And these are just visible cues to folks that you are committed to uh, just doing the best you can for them and for yourselves. It's also uh, useful to have your employees take these certifications. If you mm -hmm. think about it, you know, you can, you can just bring somebody up and say, here's how we do billing. But if you sent somebody who does the billing through a class on the finances of a managed service business, they're going to have a much deeper understanding of the business model and how their job fits in with that and how their billing process needs to be consistent with that. So, you know, I, I personally have a kind of a philosophical view about that, that all of these things work together as a system to make you more successful. And so, you know, 25 classes is enough that everybody on your staff could take something that would improve your business from the inside out. That's a really good point, Carl. And just real quick, if I could, um, we know, at least theoretically, right, that SOPs, standard operating procedures, are what allows us to have repeatable, successful processes. But we also know that writing those SOPs and testing them and, and improving them is a frog on everyone's desk, which is to say, we know that it needs to be done, but it doesn't feel immediate or high priority enough to stop everything and do it right now. And so it's just this thing that sort of looms over us. But if we are able to send someone from the billing department to go and take Rayanne's next class on uh, QuickBooks in the cloud, then we're able to have that employee help to write those SOPs based on tried and proven practices from that class. So you can sort of cover many different areas of your business, training, SOPs, um, written procedures, all of those things through classes at, at ITSPU. That's true. And, you know, uh, David in Lori Hartke's recent class was talking about how, you know, he has read the um, uh, Profit First book and he's tried mm -hmm. it and he's actually had to coach for a while and he implemented it, but didn't do it exactly the way they suggested. And then when he took the class, he said, it's really helpful to go through it again with somebody who is just, it's not just the book, it's the book plus somebody telling you their personal experiences and and somebody with experience as an actual MSP showing how to do it. And that's kind of the way all of our classes go. You know, we don't, we don't bring in strangers from the local university to teach business processes. <laughs> we bring in people who have lots of experience as managed service providers. And then the killer combo, I think, is the the community and the ITSPU because the community you get some uh, you get some free classes and at the plus level you get all the free classes and then you also get some certification coupons so that you can get certified without paying any extra and so that's part of why uh, we're here today for those of you in the community just go to your discounts area if you you find if you log in and you find the little dollar sign next to your your smiling face that takes you to the discount page where among other things you will find the discount codes uh, for different things whether it's for you or for your staff your staff can take all of the classes at 50 percent off so even if you just have one membership uh, you could have 10 people who come in and take all the classes at half off and, you know, that's, uh, you know, we, we'd love you to have a, a different membership, but that's a membership that you can certainly take. All right. And then speaking of the, the levels, so we have introduced a new membership level, which is the 799 community level. This includes 100% of the content inside the community. So all the checklists, all the books, all the trainings that are not five hours, <laughs> um, you know, we actually, one of the things when it's, uh, Kara was going through the some of the examples, we did a whole bunch of training on TCP IP and DNS that were sort of individual one and two hour modules. Um, and it's a great collection, but it's not 
in ITSPU, and it's also not available to anybody who's not a member of the community. So that's the kind of stuff that you can just go access, download, uh, share with your team if you need to. Um, you get one login and you get one free class over at IT Service Provider University each year and one free certification exam each year. And uh, Kara pointed out, there's a December bonus. <laughs> That's right. Yep, the way we have it uh, set up inside the community, when you get access to your coupon, if you happen to um, register this year for the at the community level, the coupons reset at the first of the year. So that means uh, if you start your 12 month membership today, let's say on December 13th, you can take a certification exam today, um, as well as a five week class. You can get that started today. Um, and then in January, you know, in just a couple of weeks, those coupons are going to reset. So you'll actually be able to take up to two classes and two exams uh, within your first two months of membership at no additional cost. And if you don't want to do it in January, you can wait. So you can, you know, take two of them in the next 11 months. <laughs> so yep. uh, it's all good. Um, and, you know, our, our goal here is not to make a massive amount of money. We need to make enough money to keep the lights on. But, uh, you know, there are people who charge $12.99 for each class that they teach. And maybe you get that much value out of it. Um, but we are we think that we're providing way more value than what we're charging for because our goal is to help every IT consultant to be as successful as possible. So the Community Plus level is a step up from that, and it gives you all of the classes uh, over at ITSPU. And uh, you now get up to three certification exams uh, at no additional charge over at ITSPU. So, and again, for one logon. So let's say that you join and you say, well, I want to uh, get, you know, sort of tuned up on managing my service board. Well, you could take all the classes you want, but you could also get certified on managing your service board, which is uh, quite useful. Uh, again, the, the benefits of bragging about your certification are quite great. Um, and finally, we have a team membership, which is for larger teams where they want to work as a group to improve everybody's knowledge and, and access to information about this. And it also helps the team understand everybody else's uh, perspective, right? That if you're going to take some classes and you can take one on marketing and understand what those marketing people are going through, take one uh, on service management. So even though you're in marketing, you might want to know what the service board is up to. Uh, it allows a lot of freedom for the group to go through things as a whole. And a couple of different team leaders, team members have come to me and said, I want my service people, I want that department to go through a class together. And so I do provide some additional support for those people where they can go through the class in a week and then set up a meeting with me and we'll do a Q&A, an open Q&A on the class. Then they go, they take the next hour and, and we go through it again. And obviously that takes a little extra time for me, and that, but that's part of the larger membership as well. So you get up to 10 logons and each of those people gets complete access to everything inside the community. Did I miss anything? No, I think you covered that quite well. And if anybody has any questions about what level might be best for you, if you have a team and you're not sure, maybe you only have two people, or maybe you have a larger team, but you're not sure who's going to use it, there's a lot of different use cases um, to join the Team Plus membership, but it's not always clear immediately which one is best for you. So just send us an email and we'd be happy to, to walk you through it. Like Carl mentioned before, we're not here to try to just make a ton of money and that's it. So, you know, you send us an email, we're not automatically going to pressure you into Team Plus. That's not what we're here to do. Uh, we are here to help you find what would be the most beneficial for you at your current stage. And I will say, Kara gives the best customer service of anybody I've ever worked with. Uh, <laughs> and now obviously I work with her and so I see it from my perspective, but I've had so many members say, I'm amazed that 
you know, I, I ask a question and I think I'm going to get some, you know, automated response two days later and boom, I get the answer and it's fuller and more complete than I had expected. So thank you, Kara, for being awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for saying that. It's a it's a fun time for me to be in this role, honestly. I, I've enjoyed all of our community members. So if you're on the fence of whether or not you want to join, we'd love to welcome you in. All righty. So joining us is super easy. If you are an existing member, you don't need to do anything. You've automatically been upgraded to the Community Plus membership, which we started December 1st. So uh, you just, when you log on, you'll see that you have that level of membership and you can enjoy the benefits immediately. If you're a new member, you have to decide what level you're at. And to be honest, one of the reasons that we put in the new membership is that uh, we realized the everything all the time model wasn't perfect for everybody. So you can join at the new level. And if you have any questions about which level is right for you, we're going to try to answer those right now. <laughs> but going forward, if we don't answer anything, just send us uh, an email. So one of the promises we made early on is that your membership fee is locked in for life. And so if you if you come in at the, let's say, $12.99 level today, that will never go up. Uh, you'll see that the, the cost of membership will go up over time, but the price that you pay will not. And so we have people who are paying much lower uh, membership levels because they jumped in right at the beginning. And we've been around since 2018, which <laughs> seems like a really long time. But, <laughs> you know, uh, we're coming up on our sixth anniversary and we have a, we think we have a great community, but whatever we do in the, in the period of your membership, you just get it, right? So in 2020, I released three new books. They're in the community. All you have to do is download them. In 2023, I added a new book on the year of intention. All members got that for free before it was available to the public. So everything that we do, we, we put on an online community. Every one of our members was able to attend that at no additional charge. And outsiders, I can't remember now, I think they paid $3.99 or $4.99 or something. So. Yes. Everything we do when we create new content, if you're a member, you know, basically, if you're on the inside, you get it, period. No questions asked. And so uh, we really work hard to try to maximize the amount of value that you get from the community. Obviously, you need to consume it. You can't download a book and not read it and, and just uh, put it under your pillow and think that it's somehow going to you know, seep into your brain. You have to do your, your part of it. But, you know, we're, we're going to give you the resources that we can to make you as successful as possible. Anything else before we move to Q&A? Nope, I think, uh, I think we're ready. Let's do Q&A. All right. If you have questions, put them in the Q&A module and we'll be happy to uh, take a look at them. So why the new membership level? Well, uh, and these are questions that people have sent us uh, in the last month, <laughs> basically. So um, we started with the model of, you know, we're going to put everything in there and you're either a member or you're not. So, you know, if, you, if you're a member, you get it. If you're not, you don't. And then we've had some people who said, well, uh, you know, I only, I don't have time to take all these classes and it, it doesn't seem like I'm going to get my money's worth. Well, I would argue that the, the resources are worth way over $10,000 just for the resources. But uh, if you're looking at classes and you can only take one class at a time and maybe one or two classes a year, then maybe a lower membership level is right for you. And um, so, and we are not offended if you choose that. <laughs> uh, you know, our goal is that you'll look at it and say, wow, that was completely worthwhile. And then maybe take another class. I, we've had many people who wandered in off the internet and found one class and then they took another class and then they realized, oh no, I should uh, just join. And then that leads to the next question, which Kara gets all the time. Hey, I just <laughs> took a class, uh, you know, and I, I paid this $3.99 and it was awesome, but now I want the rest. What, 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 how can you help me out? 
Well, we're happy to work with you on that. If if you took that class in the last 90 days, just send us a note. Include the email that you use to log in with at itspu.com. And um, I'll create you a coupon code and it will take off that $3.99 from your first year of membership. So we certainly don't want anyone to feel like, you know, they they missed out or used up a, a, an opportunity there and paid for a class when they didn't have to sort of thing. So we're very happy to uh, to lend you that as a credit. Yeah, and you know, at the end of the day, part of it is just the ethics of, of how we run the business. We never want anybody to feel like they got ripped off. You know, like, yeah. you know, you've seen these ads where like, oh, hey, here's a great opportunity for cable TV for the next year but you're not eligible if you already are a subscriber. In other words, if you're if you're already on the inside uh, giving us your money, there's no discounts. That's <laughs> that right. That never makes me feel good, <laughs> right? So, uh, you know, and we're, we're attentive to that. We don't want people to say, man, these guys, uh, they, they got me for an extra $3.99, even though I wanted to join at the $12.99 level. So... Uh, well, we will make it right. We will do what, what uh, you think is fair. So, uh, so Kara, do you want to talk about who the $7.99 membership is good for? Sure. Yeah. You mentioned this a little bit uh, a few minutes ago, but worth repeating. So if you are someone, uh, maybe you have a very small team, maybe you just have one other staff member, for example, or maybe you're just on your own right now. And so you have a lot of a lot on your plate. The idea of taking all of the classes at ITSPU sounds good, but you know, in practice, it's not going to be feasible for you. And so having the chance to focus on a specific class at a time is going to be better. Um, that's where the $7.99 membership level can come in and work really well for someone. If you do get through that first class and realize you want to take another one, you still have some options to do that at, at great discounts. You get 50% off any additional classes you want to take at ITSPU as long as your membership is in good standing. And, uh, you know, a side note, if you ever realize that you are ready to commit to taking that full set of classes or want to commit to getting your specialist certification, you can upgrade to, you know, Community Plus at any time. Um, you're not going to lose any of your uh, previous investment. It's all prorated. So you never lose a dime with us um, when you want to upgrade. Um, it's also good for someone who is maybe not even ready to take classes at ITSPU at all, but they do want access to that resource library that we talked earlier about. Again, all of Carl's standard operating procedures are in there, all of the books. Um, I'm sure most people listening or watching this call are familiar with managed services in a month, service agreements for uh, IT service providers, um, cloud services in a month, the list goes on, managed services operations manual, all of those are in the library. And this is a little bit of a spoiler, but we're actually working on some major improvements to the library that all of those Individual handouts will be completely searchable and individually downloadable so that you no longer have to go through um, a book to get a specific handout. So keep your eyes open for uh, updates coming about that soon. But that was kind of a, a long answer to the $7.99 membership. What did I miss, Carl? Uh, that they get access to you and me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, sometimes people say, I know it's in there somewhere, but don't you have a spreadsheet that measures this and that? Or, you know, mm -hmm. how do I evaluate the, the billability or the profitability of an individual technician? Uh, well, I kind of have a, a first class knowledge of that because it's only a matter of, I know we have that. The question is, which book was it in? <laughs> <laughs> because right. you've got the books, so you've got the handouts, but they may not have been broken out. Well, now, uh, Kara literally created a task for us in our project management module and said, Carl, go tell us what these are so we can break them out so that people don't have to go looking through, you know, the, all the downloads. Some of our books, like the, the Network Migration Workbook, has 1,100 pages of downloads, right? So <laughs> the downloads are bigger than the book by almost three times, right? So, you know, the it's it's that kind of thing where if you need access to Kara, you just send a note. And, and if she doesn't have the answer immediately, she'll say, oh, Carl, can you 
take some time and look into it and I will right and and again we try to be pretty responsive yep on the community plus membership there's a lot of people that that's particularly good for I will say if you're a newbie if you're getting started and you're like man I know nothing or I I know I love the industry but I don't know how to do it quite right and I I hear all this stuff about managed services and I want to do it the right way and I want to be profitable profitable as soon as possible. Well, probably the $7.99 membership is a great place to start. But if you've got a little extra money, the $12.99 membership is a spectacular way to start because now there's no question. If you need something, you will have access to it, whether it is a resource, a download, a checklist, or some training that is specific to the, the question that you have or the topic area that you want to come up to speed on. So you can take an entire class on managing the service board or an entire class on business strategy. And so if you're new to this business or new to any business, uh, we think that this is the, the best way for you to come up to speed at a reasonable price. Again, there, there are organizations that will charge you $1,000 a month, $1,000 a class, uh, or the uh, co coaching program that is ten thousand, twenty thousand uh, dollars, and and I'm not saying those are bad. Those are probably spectacular. Uh, many of them are run by some of my best friends, but we think that we provide maximum value at a reasonable price, uh, and it's particularly good for people who are getting started. Um, but if you've got a team and you are just now figuring out, oh, we've somehow managed to get to a, a million dollars, we got a few employees, we got great clients, and we have no written processes, you are absolutely not alone. Many, many companies have gone through the exact same thing. And so sometimes what you want to do is uh, take a deep breath and say, all right, let's tune up our processes. Let's document our procedures. Let's start moving from a practice that works to a quote unquote best practice. This is a great way to find out what some people are using as best practices. So Kara, tell us about upgrades. If I start out with the, the regular community membership, what does it take to upgrade to community plus or teams? Sure, yeah, it really just takes a couple clicks. Honestly, you just log into your account and head over to your um, profile account page inside the website, and you can just select that you want to upgrade. I mentioned earlier that everything is prorated, so you're never going to lose out on any part of your previous uh, membership fees. If you, you know, for example, you join at you join the community at seven ninety nine, and after six months you decide you want to upgrade, well, that remaining, you know, about four hundred dollars is going to get put toward the community plus or the team plus membership. So um, it's really easy. If you ever have any questions about how to go about it, I'm happy to walk you through it. I do that at least once a month. I probably walk someone through how to upgrade um, or maybe, you know, you want to upgrade and also change your payment card. That's also very easy to do. So it's pretty painless, but we're also here to help. <laughs> and some folks don't want to poke around too much, but um, if you want it, just a little note, they'd say, hey, I do want to do this myself. Where do I get started? Uh, again, an email is the easiest way to just do that. And we'll say, hey, here's the page. Here's a you know a little bit of instruction. If you have any questions, you let us know. Many people okay. like to self-serve. And I think Kara's built an amazing website that is very uh, well designed for self-service. It wasn't always that way, I assure you. <laughs> uh, so, but and and the newer the newer version that she hinted about will be even more spectacular. So she has to outdo herself, you know, every few years. So well, we don't want to get bored, do we, Carl? Exactly. That's we say that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, other questions, if you have them, put them in the Q and A, uh, and or again, feel free to email us. The, the site is smallbizthoughts.org, and we would, you know, love to have you check us out, uh, poke around, and there's also join.smallbizthoughts.org, which is, it, it looks mostly the same. It's primarily a promotional or, or marketing site, um, but uh, so if you're not a member, that might be a place to start. If you are a member and you just say, uh, you know, 
love the stuff, love the people, love the community. Uh, what should I do? Well, send us an email, uh, one or both of us, and I promise you we will respond. That's right. That's right. We do have one question here in the q and I'm seeing, Carl. Um, so this person is wondering, they have a team of folks. It looks like there's four of them. And they're thinking about the team membership, but um, this person's concerned that only one of his team members is actually going to use it. So he's wondering, do you still recommend the team membership there or another route? They're looking um, to take classes at ITSPU for sure. Well, I would say the team membership really is intended for multiple people. If you like, if you had three, it might be on the borderline. But even if you're a team of ten or or five, and only one person is going to dig in and get all the the goodies, I would say a single membership is probably right for you. Uh, probably the twelve ninety nine, so that you can you know, take the classes as you see fit and get maximum value. But remember, part of our licensing is that, you know, if you download a, a checklist, let's say a client onboarding checklist, we fully understand that you're going to share that with your team and it'll become part of your processes and procedures. I mean, that's the reality of it. So our team's membership is not intended to say nobody can use any of these forms or checklists unless they're all in the community. Um, it is that you want to be able to have those people have full access to everything if they need it. You know, in general, if you had five people who really needed it, uh, certainly you'd save money by getting the team's membership, but also you'd have salespeople digging into all the sales stuff. You'd have technical managers digging into all the technical stuff and the team management stuff, the personnel side of things, and you'd have management and front office digging into the things they need. So, you know, a team's membership is really intended for a team. So even if you're on a large team, but only one person is using it, I would say that that one person should join at their level as, as a single individual. Remember, if they say, oh my gosh, I want three people to get in on this, you can still buy the classes at half price. You can even buy the certifications at half price. So, you know, once you're in, the prices go down across the board. But then when you go to the point where you say, all right, we're ready for the team's membership, you can literally go on and upgrade your membership. I, I did want to note on the um, uh, pro rating of upgrades that let's say that you're, you joined today and then in six months, as Kara mentioned, you want to upgrade, uh, your renewal date stays the same. And so your upgrade, uh, you, you will, you will not pay the whole 1299. Uh, if you go from 799, 1299, or from 1299 to 3599, uh, you'll pay the difference, right? And so you'll, you'll still save money, uh, in making that upgrade, but your renewal date will be at uh, the same time of year. Does that make sense? I think so. Although right. I'm kind of on the inside, so if it doesn't make sense, <laughs> sense we'll have you. to rely on other people to say so. <laughs> you wrote the procedure, so it makes complete sense to you. That's right. right. I have perfect uh, information, so yes, I follow. <laughs> uh, so Gloria says, I'd like to get a recording to listen to uh, with a few of my people and myself since I got called away. Uh, thanks for what you do. Uh, we say around here, what would Carl do? Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm honored by that. Uh, we should get t-shirts to WWKD. So, Good idea. Uh, yeah, that'll just irritate people. So we won't do that. But uh, yeah, so what, <laughs> but it what could we're going to do. It could be Kara though. So I might need one too. <laughs> <laughs> you have to decide what would Kara do versus what would Carl do. Uh, that's happening. Now see, now that's a t-shirt we could do. Um <laughs> Anyway, so uh, Gloria, I would say this, uh, we're gonna put up the uh, video uh, on YouTube. And so it'll be, we'll link to that and we'll share it with everybody who registered as well as obviously, you know me, it'll be on social media and everything else. Do you also think the audio, the separate audio would be useful or uh, do you, is the video gonna be fine? Because which, whichever works for you, that's what we're happy to do. Uh, YouTube, YouTube is fine. fine. Excellent. Very good. And and thank you for the question. Uh, any other questions? Uh, with luck, we'll uh, give you 
some of your day back. We really didn't intend this to go for an hour uh, in the first place, uh, but uh, we're happy to stick around if there are more questions. I do have to say this has been a spectacular year. It's hard to remember that the online conference was this year and <laughs> it was a major benefit to people who were community members to get uh, you know, several days of education from start to finish. And uh, many people thanked us profusely for that, but it's the kind of thing we do. And we won't have an online conference in 2024, uh, but we will try to do a, a few roadshows and, you know, show up maybe in your town. So again, community members would get into those things absolutely for free. So. And by the way, if you uh, haven't heard about the SMB online conference before and you're a member and wondering what you might have missed out on, those recordings are still up at smbonlineconference.com. And so first log into your account at smallbizthoughts.org. You'll find a coupon code there so you can register for free uh, over at smbonlineconference.com and you'll be able to access all of that content from earlier this year. It was a especially good conference this year, I would say. I think so. And uh, a couple of people have said that, you know, of all the events that they attended, it was the best one. Uh, I wish somebody at CRN Magazine or Channel Pro would uh, pick that up. But that's so hint, hint. <laughs> anyway, very good. If there are no other questions, then we'll go ahead and put this to sleep. We'll get the recording up as quick as we can. You have our emails and uh, we would love to hear from you with any questions or comments. And uh, we would love to see you inside the community. That's right. Looking forward to it. All right. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.